hey what's going on guys let's look at this problem right here okay this question is asking the details given below are the shunt connect connected dc motor shows that equivalent circuit of the shunt motor and figure 2 shows the magnetization curve plotted when the motor's constant speed is 1200 re revolutions per minute okay now that's it now let's see how to do this question the first question is asking if the resistor r adj is adjusted to 175 ohm what is the rotational speed of the motor at no load conditions okay at no load conditions we have this 175 ohm provided at no load conditions let's look at the values vt is 240 voltage let's note that one down vt is 240 voltage and the field current can be calculated using this formula if is equal to vt divided by radj plus rf now vt is 240 divided by R A D J. Here R A D J is going to be 240. Let's see. At 240 we have R A D J going from okay it's provided right here. That's 175. It's in the question. That's the one we are to use. 175 plus rf rf is 100 ohm and that gives us 240 over 275 that is equivalent to 0 0.873 ampere so from figure 2 um, figure 2 we can see that uh, this field current would produce an inter internal generated voltage that is at uh, 0 0.83 if you take this one here at this point that's going to be almost 271 voltage okay 271 voltage 271 voltage and uh, that is the speed is 1200 revolutions per minute 1200 revolutions per minute okay now using this one here we are trying to find n n is the question what is the rotational speed that's n okay to find out that we have to use this formula ea over ea naught is equal to n over n naught n is what we are trying to find n is equal to ea divided by e naught multiplied by n naught ea is this for vt that is 240 voltage and e naught is this voltage 271 voltage multiplied by the speed n naught is the speed 1200 revolutions per minute and if you calculate this one you're gonna get 1063 revolutions per minute and that's gonna be the rotational speed of the motor at no load conditions this is the answer for the first question now let's look at the B part B part is asking assuming no armature reaction what is the speed of the motor at full load what is the speed regulation of the motor at full load armature current can be calculated using this formula ia is equal to il minus if il minus if is vt over r adj plus rf and uh, load current that is 55 ampere 55 minus vt over this one we calculated previously 
here 0 0.873 ampere 873 and that gives us 54.13 ampere okay and the next thing is we are going to calculate ea ea is equal to v t v t minus ia times ra vt is 240 minus ia is 54.13 54.13 ampere times ra is that's given 0 0.4 0 0.4 and that gives us 218 voltage okay now again for this one also we had to find out what is the n value now the field is the same as before so the armature the ea not e not will be same as this one is ea not ea not will be still the same that is 271 voltage okay and again we are going to use the same formula to calculate n let's use a different color n is equal to ea divided by e naught times n naught here ea is different than the previous one for the previous one we had 240 here it's 218 divided by 271 multiplied by n naught that is 1200 and that gives us 967 revolutions per minute but for this question they are asking what is the speed of the motor at full load this is the speed what is the speed regulation of the motor now to calculate the speed regulation the formula is nn1 minus nf1 divided by nf1 multiplied by 100 percentage nn1 is the previous at no load that is 1063 with load that is 96 967 divided by nf1 nf1 is with load that's 967 multiplied by 100 you will get 9.9 .9 percentage and this is the speed regulation and this is our speed this is the answer for the b part let's go ahead and do the c part let's get rid of this first part yeah i'm going to continue the c part c part is asking if the motor is operating at a full load at full load and if its variable resistance r a d j is increased to 250 ohm what is the new speed of the motor compare the full load speed of the motor with r a d j equal 175 ohm to the full load speed with radj is equal to 250 ohm okay if radj is set to be 250 ohm the current field current will be if is equal to vt divided by radj plus rf vt is 250 actually 240 that's here vt is 240 and radj is 250 that's given here 250 plus rf is a constant value that's 100 and this one gives us 240 divided by 350 that is equivalent to 0 0.686 ampere now ea for this one the ea will be okay motor is still at full load motor is still at full load so ea is still 
218.3 218.3 we previously calculated if you notice here 218.3 we calculated for this one here this one is 218.3 so same thing remains here since it's or it's a it's in full lot and ea0 at ea0 okay voltage new field mm. here we have a new field and we had to use this curve to find out the ea0 the speed is 1200 revolution per minute and here what we do we compare the current but if you look at the curve and find out the ea0 for this one that's 247 at a speed of 247 because the current here is 0 0.686 that's what we calculated previously 0 0.686 is somewhere here and if you connect this one right here this is 247 right here that's how we got ea0 okay we have ea0 the speed always same that's 1200 revolutions per minute 1200 revolutions per minute again we are going to calculate the speed that is n is equal to ea divided by ea0 times n0 ea is 218.3 divided by ea0 is 247 times n0 is 1200 and that he gives us both of them are volt and this one is re revolutions per minute and that gives us 1061 revolutions per minute so we can see the radg has increased and as a result the speed of the motor is also increased okay and uh, here that's the question what is the new speed of the motor? Compare the full load speed motor with the RADJ 175. Okay, here 175 we previously previously we had yeah for the first one we had 175 and at that time our speed is the speed was 967 but here 1061 because here the, our radj has increased to 250 okay and that's the comparison as the result of radj increased the speed is also increased and that's how we do this kind of problems i hope you guys find this video helpful thanks for watching and if you are trying to learn electromechanical system there are a bunch of videos in my playlist i hope you guys watch that too don't forget to subscribe see you next time